And so what is the life that you promise yourself? Write it down. Write it down. Be clear. Be vivid. Like, write that stuff down. So, so the way this thing works, C being the pilot, you know, I always go to C and I ask, okay, what are we going to be talking about? What, you know, what's the theme? What's going on? You know, I, I want to deliver it, but I'm coming to you, whatever, right? So C will kind of explain it to me. So the word, and then he gave it to me and C used the word respect, write it down. He, that's the word. So we can't get away from that word. Like we can't. And again, repetition deep is the impression. So do me a favor. When you go home, you need to you need to play with that word for at least 365 days. Don't let it go out your sight. Uh, the word respect. I want you to catch that word in the morning. I want you to catch it in the afternoon. I want you to catch it at night. At least 90 straight days. What is specifically what what will you have me to do with it? Right? Respect. Right? I want to, if you don't mind, if you could just look it up, pull it up on your phone. I want you to see it for yourself. Look the word up. Just pull it up real quick. Respect, right? I'm going to we'll just walk through it. To regard highly. I, I want you to look at some of the things in your life that's not 100 right now. That back in the day, you know, maybe it was your business. Maybe it was your relationship. Maybe it was your health. Maybe it was your money. Like, I don't know. I want you to think about that thing that was just on blaze. It's not, it's not, it's, the fire isn't there anymore. It's not blazing like it used to. Right. And, and I told you before, I truly believe it has nothing to do with the thing, but you don't have high regard for it anymore. You don't think about it much. Watch what it says. It says regard highly to think much of. Show respect towards an attitude of admiration or esteem. Good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say it for you. I want you to feel it because when you feel it, you do something with it. Write that thing down that you like, yo, I used to have mad adoration for that. I don't have it like I do. Not, not like I did 10 years ago. Man, I used to admire that thing. Man, I used to think about that thing a certain way. Man, I had high regard for it. Right, write it down. What's the thing that, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you that the next level, this is not a coincidence. Of all the words God could have gave CJ, he gave him the, the, the word respect, right? All right, so the first time I remember like the word respect and really like, like, whoa, I get it, was the Godfather. When I watched the movie, The Godfather, I was like, whoa, that's respect. Like, I don't know how and what happened, but my man... <laughs> Holy on, I'm like, if my man made moves, everybody was like, it was a kiss, kiss, hand, mwah. I was like, whoa, that's respect. Remember what I told y'all. The first thing I want you to respect is life because you won't have it forever. And when you leave this place, I want you to have a different level of respect for life. And I want you to have a different level of respect for the lives that God has entrusted you to. All right. Another level of respect. Right. And I'm telling y'all, I remember when I first got dating Dee Dee, first got married. I remember there was a there was a, a period where I got married. I don't know what happened, but I almost got comfortable. Right. And I'm looking now at, you know, opening the doors for, you know, at the stores. She walking down the stairs. If I feel like she can't, whatever she going up the hill, I feel like I grabbed. And I remember there was a time I wasn't doing that. And I remember the time that I wasn't doing it, that the relationship wasn't as blissful as it is when I do that. But there's something about when I got the respect back for her and realized who she is and who. And so what I have to do every day when I wake up, I have to remember because, you know, you start making money, you get degree like whatever time, whatever happened when you were 16. When you're 26, you can forget it. 36, you can forget it. 46, you can forget it. But every day when I wake up and I look at Didi, I have to like remind myself, you were homeless. You were a high school dropout. God specifically brought her in your life, not only to put you up in the winter months, not only to give you her allowance, not only to make her get on your last nerve and get your GED and follow you to 
not only have your children, not only finish school first, not only get the job before you got the job, not only get the insurance before, not only buy the first house where her credit, because you didn't have a credit. God was like, yo, you have to remember that every single day because if you forget that and you remember who you guys are today, you might lose some respect. But if you remember every single day when you were homeless, when you remember every single day how she looked after you and looked out for you, if you remember that every single day, then the exact thing that you have is going to be different than it would be if you didn't, if you didn't have, if you didn't think of her highly, if you didn't, you, you didn't adore her, right? If you didn't respect, if you didn't respect her. So I want you to write down, just as we're going through, write it down. Like, ooh, I got too comfortable with this thing. Ooh, I don't respect it like I used to. Ooh, God has blessed me and I forgot what happened 10 years ago. I forgot what happened 20 years ago. I'm waking up today and I'm geeked up about today and all the things that are happening. But let me go back and remind myself before I had the PhD, some of you, before I had the master, before I had the business, before I had the bank account, I find it funny that sometimes when folks blow up, they start, you know, they leave this person, get with another person. They leave this partner, business partner, get with this business partner. And they forget that that person was the person that got you here. And, and, and it is respect and honor for you to bless that person when you get a chance, the way they bless, the way they blessed you when you, when you weren't blessed and now you bless and you blessing somebody else instead of blessing the person that got. I just want you to think like, where have I lost my respect? Again, I don't know why God gave him that word, but I just keep hearing respect, respect, respect. So the first thing I want you to respect is life. Make it count. Y'all thought I was playing. Boo and I, we got, and, and, and again, the Bible says that I can pray for the desires of my heart. So my heart, my heart has 18,250 days left. In my heart, that's my desire. God, I want 18,250 more days. That's what I, that's what my prayer is. And these, and th this 18,250, I want to do different than the first. Make it count. So, so write that down. God, we're not going to be deep today. God, the first, whatever you gave me, man, I made a whole bunch of, and you brought me here to let me know that I'm take, I don't respect breath. I don't respect life. I'm acting like I'm going to live forever. So I, so, so me and my wife can get into it. Listen to me. I will not. I promise you, Quest. I will not. I will not. I can't speak for Didi. I will not waste another. I, I will not waste one of the 18,250 days beef. And I won't. I won't go. A, a, we won't go a day or a night. I can't tell her what to do, but I won't waste. To 18, 200 feet. I won't waste two or three of those days not talking. I, I, I won't do it. I won't go to bed angry. I only got, listen to me. I only have 18,250. How many you got left? Listen to me very close. You, I know I told you and you played with it. You better. <laughs> My man said he, he, he got me. Said, what do you write this down? What do you take it for granted? Write down what you take for granted. I don't know what you take for granted. But you can't tell me you get married and you think when you get married that you're going to be married for 30 days. There are things that we take for granted. Now, I don't know if somebody can tell me, but when you got married, how many, like, how many years did you and you, like, I don't even know if it's years. You may not be able to use years. But how much time do you felt like when you got married that you was going to have with your spouse? Somebody answer that for me. You got married. Like, give me like, I thought we was going to 10, 20. Somebody tell me how long you thought like we going to be married. Forever. We had kids. Nobody thought they was going to bury their children first. Nobody thought they was going to bury their baby. You don't bury your baby. The way it goes, your baby buries you. I know multiple people who've lost their children. Friend lost her child to cancer at five. 
What are you taking for granted? I'm, listen to me. You're not hearing what I'm saying. You, there are things that you don't, God told me to tell you, don't pray no more. You don't need to pray. Don't keep asking him for the same thing. He said, don't pray to me no more. I gave it to you already. Do something with it. I already gave it to you. Why you keep, why you asking me for it? You're the one taking it for granted. I, you, you, I gave you life. It's precious. you the one playing with it. You getting up late. You got an attitude. You don't feel it. I gave you breath. Use it. What are you taking for granted? Who are, who are you taking for granted? Who are, who are you believing they gonna be there tomorrow? You just gonna wake up and they just gonna be there. You don't have forever. Stop acting like it. You don't have forever. Stop acting like it. Stop taking certain things for granted. When you leave, your life is going to go to another level. Why? Because you don't need anything else. When you were born, God gave it all to you. Listen to me. I mean that when I say that. This voice, I didn't, God didn't give me this when I got baptized and got my life right. Like I had this from birth. Like this base. Like when God, when I was born and God was forming me, he said to whoever was creating, turn the tremble down some. Just, yep, a little bit more bass, yep. Yep, come on, a little bit more bass, yep. Come on, a little bit more bass, yep. Come on, yep, that's it right there. Boo! I will give you what you need to eat, son. You don't got to go work for nobody if you don't want to. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give him a little, yep, that energy, yep. Yep, yep bring it up. Yep, bring it up. Yep, bring it up. Yep, yep, give him more. Yep, give him that passion. I was given this, everything you need to be everything God wants you to be. It, before you came out, you had it. You're just not using it because you're taking it for granted. Everybody don't have this. This is a gift from God. Everybody don't have this passion. Somebody say, E, you super emotional. That's a gift from God. I just got to use it in the right way. What are you taking for granted? Hey there, welcome to my channel, Best Fresh Personal Growth Motivation. Today I speak, Respect Yourself 2024. Clear be like write the stuff so the way these things work CB <clears throat> ask away and things what's going on you. No I want to deliver but I coming right so seal and then gave it to me. She used the word respect, we cannot get away from that word like we cannot impression and you need to, you need to play that word for at least your single, the word respect morning, I want you to catch it in night, at least 90 straight days. What especially, what right respect, right? I want to look up full it yourself took. Respect, right? I am going to just walk through it to regard highly. I want you to like some things not. <clears throat> 